Hey, my name is G.A. Alexander, and I'm here today to show you a walkthrough of The Biologic Show by Al Columbia, which was put out by Hollow Press in late 2020. Okay, so this is the um, printing of Al Columbia's Biologic Show, done by Hollow Press. Hollow Press, you can see. Uh, on the back, we'll just have just have uh, Price and Euros. Hollow Press is uh, an Italian company, and uh, here we have uh, some of the color artwork uh, that Al Columbia has done um, in the spirit of the series. So let's crack it open here. So. Here we are, um, sort of the Al Columbia artwork at the time. He's now moved on to more of a almost um, Fleischer cartoon style. Um, and, you know, here he's a lot more, uh, a lot more ink heavy, a lot more. Um, I don't want to say sketchy because it's not sketchy. Sketchy implies it's unintentional, and I don't feel anything in here is unintentional. Um, but there is definitely a lot more, um, um, I think a lot more chaos, like controlled chaos in what, he's, uh, what he was doing at the time. Um, the print job itself is pretty much perfect. I mean, it's just black and white here. Um, and there's but black and white with some gray tone. Uh, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no, no none of that, uh, print issue you could occasionally get with uh, gray tones and zip tones uh, all of that is uh, rendered here pretty much perfectly um, yeah, we got a lot of sort of see the style of the series almost like evolving and changing over the course of the book the course of the stories just uh, kind of a masterpiece of like cartoon horror here. And here we see two characters who have kind of become synonymous with Al Columbia's work. They are him and Francie in more uh, early versions of their, uh, early versions of them. Uh, they're sort of depicted differently. Sometimes they're siblings, sometimes they're friends. And uh, yeah, so him and Francie appear in this quite a bit. Um, you'll see them a lot in um, some, in um, the Golden Bear Days, uh, which is, I believe, Fantagraphics put out. I'll put a note on the screen if it's not Fantagraphics. Um, and yeah, so we see this motif here, we see a lot. This sort of like spinning blade thing. You'll see, uh, like, he still does it now, even though his work has definitely changed in style. Um, so yeah, you see these early versions of a lot of Al Columbia motifs. I absolutely love this book. I need to give it um, a couple of read-throughs. I've only done the one so far, um, just because it seems to be, as you know, sort of more off-kilter narratives tend to be uh, something I'm gonna get new things from every time I go back to it. So yeah, heavy, heavy, uh, just pure black ink work. Um, here we go with, uh, I believe that was a painting that Al Columbia did, um, which I think started some of the drama around uh, the production of this. I believe uh, some issues with this being taken and turned into a larger collage. Yeah, I think you can tell some of this was produced at different times because the style changes kind of significantly, but it's still pretty cohesive. Um, and then a little bit, uh, a little bit of a, a bio of Al right there. Anyway, this is a, a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, it's a pity about sort of the, the situation about it being uh, produced, but um, I'm sure more about that will come out at a later date. So my initial impressions of the book are very, very good. It's beautifully printed. It's uh, a hefty, uh, very solid feeling uh, read. It's um, all, all of the, uh, the blacks and the gray tones came through really, really well. 
Uh, there are two sort of minor issues which have come up about it, the first of which being um, there is some drama about the production of the book. Uh, one of Al Columbia's uh, pieces was taken and turned into a digital collage. Uh, he did not appreciate that, and unfortunately the, uh, the drama, the kind of the fallout from the drama, has kind of thrown a big, weird shadow over the production of something which is honestly kind of fantastic. Uh, the other issue, and this is honestly a small issue, and it might just be me, um, but I feel like the copy that I received, it feels more fragile than I would like. Um, the spine itself is a little rickety feeling. It's, um, it does feel like if I don't, you know, if I don't um, give this the amount of care that it needs, this thing is just going to leak out pages. Um, and I, I'm a bit of a clumsy person. <laughs> and I'm also a person who I like to just pick things up and flip through and, you know, being very, very careful with comic books is uh, not really in my uh, in, in my repertoire. So um, that's really a me problem, probably more than a you problem, especially if you're looking for you know hardcover hardcover uh, reprints of uh, uh, art comics from the 1990s. You're probably in a lot more gentle than I. Am. Um, in general, though, it's a it's a very very beautiful piece. I think you should absolutely uh, check it out if you are a fan of Al Columbia's work. Um, you know, apologies to Al Columbia himself if he doesn't want you to, but I do think the actual quality of the book and the actual um, you know the, the the fact that you can now get all these things in one place where you had to realistically do eBay hunts, you know, for for months and spend a lot of money, having all these things together is absolutely fantastic. So. Um, is an absolute recommend for me. Thank you very much.